Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. Today, we are diving back in the new explosives update that has just been released, and we are going to be doing that by taking to the skies, and, well, okay, well, not real, we're gonna take to the skies, and then we're gonna blow up in the sky, and we're not gonna be in the sky anymore, so I guess we're kind of... I don't know. Basically, we're gonna be blowing stuff up in the sky, and we're gonna be using this vanilla Apache helicopter, where we're gonna rig it in the video with the explosives, and we're also going to use this modded private jet with polygons and stuff, because the explosives will actually blow up anything, guys. They'll blow up modded polygons, modded parts, it doesn't even matter, except, wait a second. I have been told that the bathtub is actually indestructible, so let me just run a quick test here. And, oh, look at that, it's like a, it's like a, a non-magic trick, voila, the bathtub is still there, incredible. Alright, so before we start adding explosives to this helicopter and blowing it up, we're gonna start off with this private jet that I already have rigged for explosions, because guys, I wanna jump straight into the destruction, and then of course, we will move on to the helicopter and actually customize the explosives there. And I'm thinking maybe we'll actually load in the night mod so we can get an even better view of the explosives and how they look. So, this private jet might look familiar to you guys, and if you actually know what it is from, if you've seen it before on the channel, let me know what you think it is from down in the description, guys. It's from an old video of mine that I had so much fun making, and I'm so excited to bring it back and actually blow it up. Now, I'm going to mention it is sitting on pegs right now, because in this test branch update, currently, controllers are not holding on to any memory, so everything sets back to zero, which is very unfortunate, so I can't use the landing gear at all but I've used these pegs here and we just kind of do vertical takeoff and I can't even open the door so I have a little seat right here that we can hop right inside now look at this guys so this used to be quite the private jet now it is just extremely dangerous we've got explosives all over the place with spud guns pointed at them guys I don't know who designed this plane I mean why would you purposefully point this stuff I I don't know it's just a recipe for disaster but it is loads of fun. So I'm gonna take off into the air and then I'm going to basically run through each little sequence and the little kind of story that I've developed with each explosion. Alright, so we're in the air now and this plane has four different explosive sequences that kind of tell a little story about how this disaster is unfolding and it's absolutely fun. So basically the rear engine explodes first which then causes some massive cabin depressurization, so then the cabin explodes, which causes extreme instability in the airplane, which causes one of your wings to rip off. So then you are completely helpless in the sky, you can't fly anymore, you start slowly crashing to the ground, and then the final explosion is basically just the entire plane being completely obliterated. So I'm gonna show you guys this sequence, and then I'll kind of just run through it on the ground so we can get a closer view. So I'm going to start with the first explosion, we're gonna trigger that right now. There it is, guys. The rear engine. It has exploded. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely awesome. Now, of course, the plane can still kind of fly. You can see we have a little bit of control left, but guys, like I mentioned, the cabin has completely failed and it is about to explode. Look at it. There it goes right now. Oh boy. And so now we have two massive holes inside of the cabin, and uh, this is extremely bad, which sends us into a terrible turbulent area, which causes, of course, our entire right wing to explode. Oh no, there it goes, guys. Now we have no wing. As you guys can see, we are slowly crashing to the ground. Look at this. You can see the debris slowly falling with us, and then we are about to hit the ground. We set the next one off, and we hit the ground, and... There it is. The entire plane has completely exploded. Now look at this though. We are actually still sitting in the cockpit. I think we may have survived. Now let's take a look at the damage. This is absolutely crazy. Look at this. This is the cockpit right here upside down. Now what is over here? So here we have the other wing. It is still intact. But look at this guys. You can see just the entire thing has been blown apart. This is absolutely insane. Now what is this back here? Oh, now this is the tail. You can see there is the other engine, 
which has sustained quite a bit of damage as well. So I'm so happy to see actual destruction physics in the game. I never thought I would see it like this, but this is just so well done. But now let's take just a closer look at each explosion on the airplane. All right, so starting with the rear engine, I like to attach this one to a seat back here. I definitely did that for the intro to get the uh, much better camera angle there when it did explode. But let's press the switch. There it goes. And boom. Oh my god goodness look at that so there's just a close-up of the destruction now it was kind of interesting actually I had to be very conscious of how close each little explosive deposit was because otherwise they would kind of just trigger each other and set off a chain reaction now let's just kind of break this right here and step out now there you can see that is the total destruction of that engine and of course that's what it looked like beforehand so then the next one is the cabin explosion. That one is pretty cool, actually. I tried to keep that one uh, kind of minimal on the damage just to create a little more of an aesthetic look and not so much of a crippling explosion. So we'll just press the switch right there. You can see they're on each side on the top. And boom, they just go off just like that. It looks absolutely fantastic. And now if we get out of the seat here, we can see what kind of destruction has occurred on each side there. We got one there. And we also have one back here, and it's kind of funny actually, you can see different spots actually where I didn't actually get to paint because it was completely covered up. So then after the cabin depressurization explosion, we have of course our side wing explosion, we'll press that and boom, there it goes, look at that. The entire wing gets blown off, and that is when you go into your downward spiral to the ground. You got no choice, and then of course you kind of have to time pressing the final switch so that it explodes right as you're hitting the ground. That's kind of difficult to do. I haven't gotten that down just yet, but if we press it right there, you guys will see this is the big one. Oh yeah, look at that. So that is the large canisters. There's a couple of them, and that is kind of just like the cherry on top where you actually just get total destruction and everything is completely separated. So one thing that I absolutely love about this though is that each time you blow this up, even when you're on the ground or obviously if you're up in the air, every time is slightly different. You'll see different parts that have made it and sustained the damage and others that have com been completely removed from the plane. And you can just kind of see it's just a totally different experience every single time because look at this time here. The tail is right there, but this time our other engine is completely separated and blown off. So it's really cool to see uh, that the different energy that you put through the creation actually affects the way it explodes as well. But now I think it is time to move on to the Apache helicopter. I really want to see that thing explode. So we're going to spawn it, we're going to put on some of the explosive mechanisms, and of course, we're going to blow it up. Alright, so here is the Apache helicopter in my inventory. I do have a spud cannon. I have the explosive canister as well as a switch. That is all you need to start blowing your stuff up. Now, I'm wondering where do I want to do this? I'm wondering, I might just kind of actually put one and then go blow it up and then add a different one somewhere else and try and blow that one up as well because I'm really curious to see the entire top blades just get completely obliterated. So I'm going to have to see here what's the best way to do this. All right, so we're going to put a spud cannon right there. No fail. I know it looks kind of silly, but maybe we might be able to actually destroy them uh, by using a switch or something like that. But so I'm going to disconnect something there because I have way too many things connected to that. So I think that's also why I'm going to just do one at a time. So there you go. We have the switch, the spud gun, as well as the explosive. So why don't we hop into the seat here? take to the sky and detonate. All right, so I'd say we are high enough in the air to set this thing off. I am so excited to see what happens, guys. Here we go in three, two, one, set it off. Oh boy. Oh, there it goes. Wow, that looked so cool. All the blades just got completely disintegrated. Now, it's kind of funny actually. I mean, our balance is, whoa, oh geez. That thing was actually just balancing there. Look at it, it's actually falling with us right now. Wow, okay. I didn't expect to see that, but as you guys can see, this thing flies with thrusters, so it didn't really affect it that much. I'm, I'm thinking we're going to need a bigger boom. All right, so here we go, guys. I'm going to do this while we are moving forward for an even more dramatic effect. Here we go in three, two, one. Shoot it. Oh, boy, this is going to be it. Okay. Oh, wow. I have been completely ejected, but look at all the falling debris. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. Set it off. 
Oh, boy. Oh, jeez, there it goes. All right. Yeah, no, I think the large canister is just a little too much. But look at this, guys. It is like Armageddon out here. Oh, my goodness. So that has definitely been a lot of fun, but I think we can appreciate the explosions a heck of a lot more if we do this at night. So I'm gonna go load the night mod in now, guys. If you do want to try the night mod out, I will leave a link in the description so you guys can go to the appropriate place and check it out there. And it is absolutely fantastic. So here we are in the night mod. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love this mod so much. And you know what is going to make it even better? lighting up the sky with explosions. So here we go guys, we are going to go through our explosive sequence on the private jet. We're gonna start with the engine. Oh jeez, look at that! Oh wow, it's so bright in the night mod, it looks amazing. And it even looks like we're gonna be able to see it go all the way to the ground, look at that, yes! We can see it going all the way down, we can see all the little dust splashes as well. Wow, that looks so cool. Alright, so now we have lost our engine though. I guess it's time to blow up our cabin. Oh boy. Oh, there it goes. Oh man. So epic. And then of course, because of that, our entire wing gets blown off. Oh boy. There it goes. And of course, we are now starting to spiral down. Oh man, look at this guys. We are now racing our own debris. And I'm going to try and time this as best I can. I'm gonna set it off right now. We hit the trees. We blew up in the tree. What? Oh my goodness. That was absolutely epic. I can't believe we stuck ourselves in the trees and just blew up like that. That was perfect. It's time to go up into the sky. Oh my god. This is going to be incredible, guys. All right. So, in three, two, one. Oh boy. Here we go. Yes. And we have completely ejected, and there it is, guys. Look at this in the night mod. It looks so perfect. Now, guys, I know a lot of people have been asking about fireworks. Now, I just wanted to quickly mention before we wrap this video up that I have been working on some prototypes. Now, here's a little bit of an issue. Well, I guess uh, the wrong mods loaded in is an issue. Now, the mod that I was actually missing is the Fun and Gun Pack. Now, that offers smaller spud guns. As you can see right here, guys, they are smaller, which allows you to create more compact designs, especially for something like missiles or fireworks. So I highly suggest you get that mod pack as well if you want to create these types of designs. Now, this is kind of interesting. I've been working with this kind of firework design, but I've noticed that they are extremely prone to crashing the game, and I'm not too sure why. Uh, but now we can just kind of send this off into the sky, just like that. It has a built-in timer, and it'll just blow up like so, and everything comes raining back down to the ground. But I've noticed if I set off more than one at a time, which is what you would obviously want to do if you were creating some type of firework show, it crashes the game, so... Prepare yourselves here, guys. I am probably going to end up crashing the game right now, but we're going to send two of them up into the sky, one after the other, and there it is. The game has crashed. And you'll actually even notice that the second firework didn't even render. We didn't even see the debris fall from it, but it still crashed the game. Now, another problem with the fireworks is actually if you send them up into the sky too far away from your character, then the debris doesn't get generated visually, and you don't actually see it fall to the ground, which is a huge setback in fireworks. So I'm not sure if maybe the devs might change the render distances on the debris from the explosions. I really hope they do, because right now fireworks don't really seem that possible, but I do have this other little prototype kind of thing I was working on for fireworks. Now this actually uses the invisible mod pack, so as you can see these kind of look like they're just hovering there, but they're actually on a bunch of pistons, and I was kind of thinking I could send them up into the sky like that, and you'll see it right now, what it looks like. They just kind of slowly go up, and then they'll blow up. Just like that. So this is a lot more reliable. I've noticed that the game doesn't really want to crash. Now, it's it's kind of interesting. I'm not too sure why those other airborne fireworks are crashing my game so much. I mean, I've blown up the plane. We've blown up the helicopter. That was three explosions up in the air as well. I'm not sure what it is, guys. If you have any ideas, maybe just let me know. 
So there you have it guys, that was some epic explosions in the sky, we blew up the plane as well as the Apache, we even kind of mentioned fireworks really quickly and some of the setbacks we currently have, but if you guys have any ideas for future builds using these explosives then let me know down in the comments and guys if you did enjoy this video then let me know by hitting that like button and if you want to tune in for more endless scrap mechanic then of course make sure you hit that subscribe button and maybe even turn on notifications by clicking that bell. Uh, so thank you guys so much for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanic, and I will be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.